Hello my dear students and welcome back to your favorite ma'am. In today's maths class, we will be talking about HCF and how to take out HCF using prime factorization method and the division method. So let's move forward with that. HCF stands for highest or greatest common factor. So HCF is the greatest common factor of the given set of numbers or the greatest number which exactly divides two or more given numbers. So let's try and find out the HCF of 20 and 60. To do that, we will first list the factors for 20 and then we will list the factors of 60 as well. Now we know that the common factors of the given number are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10 and 20. But the greatest among all the other number is 20. So it shall be the HCF of both the numbers. Now like LCM, HCF can also be done in two ways. By prime factorization and by division method which is further divided into long division method and short division method. So let's start with prime factorization method first. To find the HCF using prime factorization method, we first find the prime factors of each of the given numbers and then we identify the common prime factor between them. Then the last step is to multiply the common factors and then we get the HCF of all the given numbers. So let's try and find out the HCF of 26 and 91 using the prime factorization method, keeping the prime numbers in our mind. So 26 when divided by 2 comes out to be 13 and since 13 itself is a prime number it is divisible by itself. So the factor for 26 is 2 into 13. Same goes with 91. Keeping the prime numbers in our mind it is divisible by 7. So 7, 91 divided by 7 comes out to be 13. Again 13 being a prime number is divisible by itself. So the factors for 91 is 7 into 13. Now comes the time to note the common factor between them. That is 13. So the HCF of 26 and 91 comes out to be 13. So now let's try and find out the HCF of 36 and 48 keeping the prime numbers in our mind. So 36 when divided by 2 gives 18. 18 is an even number. So 18 divided by 2 gives us 9. 9 is a number which is not divisible by 2. So we divide it by 3. So 9 divided by 3 gives 3. And again 3 being a prime number is divisible by itself. So the factors for 36 is 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. Now let's talk about 41. 41 being an even number is divisible by 2. So 48 divided by 2 is 24. 24 again is divisible by 2. So 24 divided by 2 gives us 12. 12 divided by 2 gives us 6. 6 being an even number divided by 2 gives us 3. Now 3 again is a prime number. So 3 is divisible by itself. So the factors for 48 is 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. So now is the time to list the common factors between 36 and 48 which is 2 into 2 into 3. Now we notice that there is no more 2s or 3s as common factor between them. So we multiply 2 into 2 into 3 and we get the HCF of 36 and 48 as 12. So now let's try and find out the HCF of 3 numbers using prime factorization. Remember keeping the prime numbers in our mind. Let's start with 12. 12 being an even number is divisible by 2. So 12 divided by 2 gives us 6. 6 again divided by 2 gives us 3. And 3 being a prime number is divisible by itself. So the factors for 12 is 2 into 2 into 3. Next we come to 15. 15 is divisible by 3. So 15 divided by 3 gives us 5. And 5 is a prime number, so it is divisible by itself. So the factors for 15 is 3 into 5. 
Now coming on to 21. It is divisible by 3. So 21 divided by 3 gives us 7. And 7 being a prime number is divisible by itself. So the factors for 21 is 3 into 7. Now again time for the common factors. The common factor between the factors for 12, 15 and 21 is 3. So the HCF of 12, 15 and 21 will be 3. That was how we find out the HCF using prime factorization method. Now let's talk about finding HCM using division method and that too by using short division method. In a short division method, we list all the numbers and divide them together by using the prime numbers which divides all of the given numbers. And then we keep on dividing them until all the quotients are divisible by same number. And then whenever we get a different number, we stop right there. After this step, we multiply all the divisors to get the HCF of those numbers. So now let's take up an example and try to find out the HCF of 12, 24 and 36 using the short division method, keeping the prime numbers in our mind. We will start by listing them together. And since all of them are even number, so that means they are divisible by 2. So 12 divided by 2 gives us 6, 24 divided by 2 gives us 12 and 36 divided by 2 gives us 18. Again, the three numbers are even number. So 6 divided by 2 gives us 3, 12 divided by 2 gives us 6 and 18 divided by 2 gives us 9. Now these three numbers are not divisible by 2 but are divisible by the next prime number 3. So 3 is divisible by 3 itself, gives us 1. 6 divided by 3 gives us 2. And 9 divided by 3 gives us 3. Now the three numbers that we have got are 1, 2 and 3 are not divisible by any one common prime number. So we will stop right here and note the divisors accordingly. So the HCF for 12, 24 and 36 we will take 2 into 2 into 3 and the HCF of these three numbers will be 12. So let's take another example and find out the HCF of 42, 63 and 105. We will start by listing them together. Now only one of these number is an even number. So we cannot divide this by 2 as we have this condition that all the numbers should be divisible by one common prime factor. So the next prime factor by which all these three numbers are divisible is 3. So 42 divided by 3 gives us 14. 63 divided by 3 gives us 21. And 105 divided by 3 gives us 35. Now again these three numbers are not divisible by 3 anymore. So the next number that divides all three of them is 7. So 14 divided by 7 gives us 2. 21 divided by 7 gives us 3. And 35 divided by 7 gives us 5. Now the three numbers that we have got, that is 2, 3 and 5 are prime numbers and hence are not commonly divided by any one single number. So we will stop here and take the divisors 3 and 7 as our factors. So HCF for 42, 63 and 105 will be 3 into 7. That is 21. Next is finding HCM by long division method in which we divide the largest number by the smallest number and then we take the divisor as the new dividend and the remainder as the new divisor and we proceed with the same division method till the remainder is zero and then the last divisor will be the HCF of the given numbers. So let's take up an example and help you understand a bit better. 
Now let's try and find out the HCF of 248 and 492 using the long division method. So here 492 being the larger number will be the dividend and 248 will become the divisor. So 248 into 1 gives us 248 and the remainder is 244. Continuing here with the division process, the previous divisor that is 248 will become the dividend and this remainder that is 244 will become the divisor. Again 244 into 1 gives us 244. The remainder here is again 4 and continuing again the previous divisor becomes the dividend so 244 will be the dividend and 4 the remainder will become our divisor. So 4 into 61 gives us 244 and the remainder comes out to be 0. So the last divisor in this case will be the HCF of 248 and 492 that is 4. So the HCF is 4. Now let's try and find out the HCF of 3 numbers like 184, 230 and 276. And out of these, we'll take first two numbers which are the smallest. Out of these two numbers, we will take the bigger number uh, that is 230 as the dividend and the smaller number that is 184 as the divisor. So 184 into 1 gives us 184 and the remainder is 46. Continuing with the division process, 46 becomes the divisor and 184 becomes the dividend. So 46 into 4 gives us 184 and the remainder is 0. Now to divide the third number that is 276 we will take the last divisor that is 46. So 46 will become the divisor and 276 will become the dividend. So 46 into 6 gives us 276 and the divider again is 0. So we will take up the last divisor of the three numbers that is 46 to be the HCF of all these three numbers. With this we have completed all about HCF and how to take out HCF of any set of numbers using prime factorization method and as well as long and short division method. In our previous videos, we have also covered how to find out the LCM using prime factorization and division method. So if you want to check that out, I will put up a link in the description box. Don't forget to hit the like button before you leave from here and also share with your friends for my future upcoming videos. Thank you.